C88. Hello everyone and welcome back to Starfield. My name is Zoras88 and today uh, we finally got where uh, we're supposed to meet with Constellation I think. Uh, Basco over there just hanging around. I figured out uh, you can actually um, hide your spacesuit once you're in a settlement. Oh look at that view. This looks amazing. I'm still in awe with uh, all of the um, cool graphics on the city so far. But yeah, uh, we are about to meet with Constellation in here, I think. So I think let's just right, uh, go right into it and see what happens. Ooh, fancy. Okay, Captain, look at this place. Everyone will be in the library just inside. If Barrett were here, he'd probably tell you that you're part of something bigger now, and he hopes you'll make this place your home. Okay, so I cannot go anywhere, so let's just go in. Whoa. We appear to have a visitor. Welcome to Constellation. We have a lot to talk about. Would you care to tell us what happened to our friend? Why you're here and he isn't? Uh, pirates attacked, Barret asked me to deliver the artifact. It doesn't matter, I have your artifact. Who are you? Why don't we start with you telling me what's con what Constellation is? I mean, we already kinda know, so... I see. Vasco, verify. All statements made have been... factual. Ugh, this is just typical. Old Barret hands strong. over our ship and our robot to some random employee of that discount mining outfit he uses. Walter... And if we hadn't insisted on installing those emergency protocols, I guarantee you this rock breaker here would be halfway to Neon. But that didn't happen. He's here with the artifact. Thank you, Matteo. Now, let's focus on what's in front of us, shall we? What happened when it was extracted? Did anyone see anything? Hear anything? <laughs> it was bright lights and music. I'm not talking about this. That thing almost killed me. How many times has this happened? Who else had, has had this vision? We think it's anyone else who pulls one out of the rock for the first time. Why? We're not sure yet. So if you wouldn't mind adding another data point. I mean... Interesting. Similar to Barrett's description of the experience, with less embellishment. <laughs> Bear, are you hearing this? Do you all believe me now? Listen Whether to the meeting. Or not, wasn't in doubt. You expect us to believe in fairy tales. If this is the greatest mystery in the universe, why couldn't it be part of the ultimate mystery? But gentlemen, can we please focus? Noel, I think it's time we tested your theory. Right. Let's see. We know the artifacts react to each other. The pieces we already have move when they're in close contact. Now, if we add this new one to the two we already have... The artifact. If you could place it on the table here. Okay. That's it. Just like the others. And to imagine, we thought there were only two of them at first. Oh, oh my god, that's it. They're reacting. Look at how it's coming together. That energy that's arcing between them, no manufactured material in the settled systems can do that. None of them. This proves Easy, that girl. Breathe. You'll have a heart attack. She's not the only one. If they're coming together, that means there's a set. Built by an intelligence outside the settled systems. Still 2,000 credits for our little wager, Godfrey? You're on, Walter. Well... 
If we had all the answers, it wouldn't be exciting, now would it? <laughs> Not to take away from the moment, but what are we going to do about our new friend here? <laughs> so, are you ready to get to work? See if exploration is the life you want to lead in this little universe of ours? I mean, it sounds great. Alright, I mean, tell me what happens next. Uh, this is a little much, I need some time to clear my head. Uh, how much do you know about the artifacts? What are they? You want me in the constellation? What does that mean? What's expected? Uh, I think I'm gonna start with this one. We're all here because we're committed to exploring space. Humanity may have settled the stars, but that doesn't mean we should stop diving into the unknown. Okay. Beyond that, you'll be expected to use your own judgment. Just like the rest of us. Okay. Uh, how much do you know about the artifacts? What are Individually, they? they're just odd hunks of metal. Another oddity from the uncharted reaches of space. As to what they are, what they're building. Well, you'll be part of solving that puzzle now. Alright. You should I take mean. some time to get settled in. Introduce yourself to everyone. Some of our members aren't here, but you'll meet them soon. Come okay. find me when you're ready. You and I are going to be doing some traveling together. Get your feet wet. And here. Okay. I think you've earned something for bringing the artifact to us. In addition to credits, why don't we set you up with a backpack with some boost capability? Hmm? You'll need it out in the field anyway. Just mind your head. Okay, sounds, sounds great. Oh, an achievement! One small step. So I guess I finished that mission now? Join Constellation. Yeah, new mission! The Old Neighborhood. You are Talk to Zara. With the quarters available to you. Okay. I mean, I guess we can... Uh, what can I help you with? No, we can talk to everyone else. I know he gets into trouble all the time, and everyone just sort of accepts he'll be fine, but still. So, a little bit of role-playing here. Uh, I guess I'll be just exploring and show you what uh, I find interesting, I actually. Service, Do I have a key? Yeah, I have a key. Oh, this goes to New Atlantis, so this goes out, but maybe this is like a garden or something. Oh, yes. Oh, this is nice. This is a nice place. Oh, and you can actually wait here. Nice. Okay, let's go inside again. Uh, I saw there was another activity regarding my parents, I guess. So let's just see what that is. Uh, see your parents at Pioneer Tower. Talk to Noel about quarters. Investigate brownouts in the well. And the actual mission, it's... Uh, Sarah wanted to talk to me about my first mission. So I guess today's episode is going to uh, be more focused on... I think the quarters and role-playing a little bit, getting to know the city. So yeah. <laughs> oh, this is a nice place actually. Is this going to be my quarters? Oh yeah! Sleep owned! <gasps> this is where I sleep now. Fancy compass, report to Clark Lewis, folders... Oh wow, this is a huge place! <laughs> okay, let me talk to... this girl first. I hope you are satisfied with the quarters available to you. Why are all of these people? Ever since I got here, this has felt like home. 
These people are family. I hope it feels that way for you too. That was intense, wasn't it? The artifacts, I mean. Sorry, this must all be a little overwhelming for you right now. I, mean, I guess a, little a lot bit. overwhelming, now that I think about it. <laughs> I'm Noelle. It's really nice to meet you. And nice thank you, you for bringing the artifact to us. Huh. Uh, you seem to know a lot about these artifacts. Oh, gosh. No, I mean, that's, that's flattering. But really, we're making this up as we go. Until you arrived, we only had the two. And the vaguest sense that there was something more at work. There's still so much we don't know. And that means a lot of work ahead of us. Okay. Uh, the vision I saw, what do you think that was? Oh, right, that. If we're approaching this rationally, I suppose we'd call them visual and auditory hallucinations. What you perceived as lights and music could be overloaded neural input. Your brain's attempt to make sense of something. An energy surge, some other phenomenon. Okay. This wasn't random synapses firing. It means something. So there's a reasonable explanation. Whatever I saw and heard, it wasn't coming from me. Bird saw something too? There might be a reasonable explanation. I wasn't there. I didn't see what you saw. I'm just not in a position to say for sure. That's okay. okay. Now that this has happened to both you and Barrett, we can know to maybe expect it in the future. Be a little more prepared. We're all in this together now, right? Sure. Uh, yeah, how long have you been working on all this? Well, Constellation's been around forever. More than 50 years now. But we only became aware of the artifacts recently. Barrett discovered the first one about two years ago, right under our noses. And he was the one who got this all in motion. It's a shame he isn't here to see this. Yeah. Okay, uh, I was wondering about other types of exploration work besides the artifacts, maybe? Of course. There's plenty of planets out there that no one has ever set foot on, and everything we learn about them is valuable. We have a board where we post anything specific we're looking for. A type of alien flora or fauna, or a planet with a specific quality, like if it's primed to have life but doesn't yet. Okay. Check the Constellation mission board. Okay, so now I have another, uh, another set of activities. Uh, let me know how I can help you learn more. Well, right now nothing's off the table. Metallurgical analysis, chemical composition, I'm looking at everything. One thing I'm sure. really trying to improve is my overall database of xenobiology. I don't know if it will help in this case, but the more we know about, well, everything, the better off we are, right? Xenobiology. Of, if you're going to be out there looking for more artifacts, you're bound to come across some interesting specimens. Anything organic, I'd be happy to take it off your hands. Okay. Organic stuff, got it. I have more important things to worry about. How would organic resources help me learning about the artifacts? I don't know, organic stuff, got it. There's a galaxy chock full of resources. The more data I have, the more thorough an analysis I can do. And sure. if it sweetens the deal, I can pay. Pretty well, too. Walter's pockets may not be bottomless, but they are pretty deep. <laughs> oh. I actually have some organic resources for you? Anything I can learn from is a help. Uh, okay, let's see. All resources. Analgesic, antimicrobial, fiber. Now oh, this is a common organic resource. Okay, this, I this item can be used as a component in crafting. Nutrient. Okay. Okay. I mean, I guess I can just, like, sell everything, right? <laughs> yeah, let's, let's just sell everything. I'm sure I'll learn how to use them properly in the future, but for now I need credits. Okay. 
and I also need to uh, lower my mass carrying stuff so yeah <laughs> Sarah said something about a place for me to stay planning on sticking around then good I think we can find a spot for you and along the way I can give you the very abbreviated tour yeah sure right sounds so nice. you've seen the library obviously obviously Walter is quite proud of the collection but Matteo has made more than a few contributions Gardens are out the doors there. I trust if you're you still satisfied with your choice to join Constellation. Emphasis on the no At least that you should should been something an invaluable Let's head upstairs. To the group you know wow, that's, that's a huge flaw in this. Had this place built decades ago. It was a big to-do at the time, but most people in the city have forgotten we're here. I am at your service, Captain. Everyone just talking as long as I go near them. It's It's kind of a flaw in this game, actually. That was like very confusing hearing everyone talking at the same time. <laughs> Couldn't even hear what she was saying to me. But I mean, I guess yeah. This look, this place looks amazing. That's no lie. Oh, we have a bar. So this is the bar, usually no tender, so help yourself, within reason, of course. Now let's see okay. about that room. You're in luck. We were almost at max occupancy already, but there's still one room up for grabs. It's been nice having the place so full. Oh, so it wasn't the one that was back there, huh? Or maybe it isn't, we're just like going around. Cleaning room. Kind of a studio here. Okay, this will be you. Common room on one side, so that'll be quiet, and Mateo on the other side, so maybe a little less quiet. I'm sure Sarah has something planned for each of us, so I'd better get back to it. Don't want to keep her waiting too long. Enjoy! Sure, thanks. Well. This is another bedroom. Oh, owned means like it's already... Oh, okay. I thought it was like owned by me. <laughs> but no, I think I think it's like uh, owned by somebody else. Sorry about that confusion. Okay, so this is actually our room. Yeah, this one doesn't say owned. So yeah, this is ours for now. Pen and tablet. Oh, an issue of Moby Dick. Nice. Um, okay, it's pretty well equipped, I think. Chronomark watch case. Um, tissues and stuff. White robes, uh, white OP base. Okay, pretty, pretty neat. So that's us. This is Mateo's I room. feel like I've been waiting my whole life for this. Constellation, the artifacts. That doesn't sound crazy, does it? I mean, a little bit, but no. To be honest, no. Oh, what is this? Like a brain mat? The stuck paper tray. Let's let's talk a little bit. Are with you him. doing okay? I'm not sure anyone really asked yet. Don't want you to think we're focused on the artifacts and nothing else. Oh, you that's... matter too. You've done something really significant bringing that artifact here. That's really I'm Mateo, nice of him. Theological scholar by trade, but now, well, an explorer like you. It's really good to have you with us. Nice. Uh, what brought you to Constellation? Well, there was some overlap in interests. I'd spent years searching for religious relics from human history. I had made a really incredible discovery, only to lose it to a greedy corporation. So oh. I tried to steal it back. In the process, I met Walter. Turned out he owned the corporation. Oh. After a long talk, we realized we had a lot in common, and I was invited to join Constellation. Wait, so the corporation was, like, greedy, and he joined them? So Constellation is, is that... Con what? 
Um, okay, uh, what do you make of the vision I saw? I'm not gonna lie, I really wish I could have seen this for myself. It's hard to judge otherwise. Both you and Barrett saw something. I don't think that's a coincidence. Did it feel like it was trying to tell you something? I don't want to necessarily use the words divine revelation, but, you know, if yeah. the label fits. If it does. <laughs> If it meant something, I didn't understand it. I know it's important, I can feel it. Maybe I'm just going crazy. All I know is I've never experienced anything like it. You think this was a religious experience? No, I, all I know is I've never experienced that anything That sure like lines it. up with everything else about these artifacts. It's all connected. We're gonna get to the bottom of this. We just need more data, which means more artifacts. Sure. Uh, these artifacts all came out of caves? Second one was on Kazal, buried the same as the one you found. But the first one, right under our noses for years, sitting in storage, masquerading as an oversized paperweight. <laughs> Can you imagine potentially the greatest discovery in human history collecting dust? I mean, it happens a lot. Take care of yourself. All right, a little bit more information. That's nice. Uh, let's see who sleeps here. Oh, no, this is just like a small office. Oh, okay. Economic meltdown. Who is this guy? <laughs> oh, wow, this is a lab. This is something. Chemists have all the solutions. Whoa. This is something. Okay. Oh, this is Mateo as well. Okay. This is the same lab. Restroom. Uh, main bedroom, I think. And that's it. Okay. Pretty nice. Alright, so... First of all, let's uh, go see the other areas of the place, which I think it's only the garden that we have left. Oh no, we... no, yeah, 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 we already came here, I think, yeah. Oh, it looks pretty nice. Mothman... I'm listening. Right. This looks amazing. Oh, I am at I your service, Captain. Wanted to talk to this guy. Well, I suppose calling you a rock breaker may have been a bit out of line. I've been called worse. Still doesn't excuse it. My frustrations lie more with Barrett. Not the first time his shenanigans have jeopardized one of our ventures. <laughs> Not fair of me to take it out on you, especially since it would seem he made the right call this time. So, let's start over, shall we? Yeah, Walter why Stroud, not? CEO of Stroud Eklund, member of Constellation, and oft times grumpy old man. Welcome <laughs> aboard. Thank you, Walter. Uh, yeah, glad to be By here. By the way, in addition to a place to stay, the Lodge has a wealth of modification and research equipment. Spacesuit customization, pharmaceutical manufacturing, testing alien substances, the whole thing. Oh, wow. You can even fashion industrial pieces for large-scale projects, if you don't mind extracting a few raw resources from a nearby planet, that is. I'm a fan of self-reliance, so I encourage you to make use of the tools we have to build what you need. Sure. Okay, craft or modify an item again with the updated activities. Uh, this isn't where I'd expect to find a CEO. Uh, <laughs> what's the role of you in Constellation? Um, do you think the vision I had means anything? And what kind of company is Stroud Eklund? I kind of, I kind of am curious about this uh, after talking about it, about it with Matteo. So, the most well known for ship manufacture. No expense spared. If you want the best and can afford it, you choose Stroud Eklund. 
Unfortunately, our success means you'll sometimes see Stroud Eklund ship modules on less than reputable vessels. They covet them. The bastards. I've tried to convince the United Colonies we can help in that regard, but they're married to Deimos Star Yards, and those old salts are stuck in the glory days. <laughs> uh, do you think the vision I had means anything? Well, I no. I do have other things that require my attention, you know. Oh, he doesn't want to talk? Funny thing about companies, you build one sturdy enough, it doesn't need you there all the time to prop it up. Stroud Eklund functions quite well on a day-to-day -day basis, leaving me time to devote to more esoteric pursuits. Oh. For years, I was captivated by the writings of Constellation's founder, Sebastian Banks. I finally decided to do something more than admire from a distance, and so now I call the Lodge home. As much as anywhere else. <laughs> okay, so what's your role in Constellation? Me? <laughs> Why, I'm the wallet. Oh. Someone has to fund all this, and all my success in business doesn't mean much if I can't put it to good use. I don't pretend to have the daring of Ms. Morgan, or the smarts of young Mateo, but I can make sure that they have the resources they need. And... As you've now seen, those resources aren't being wasted. We're onto something big here. Nice. Do you think the vision I had means anything? Up until very recently, uh, I'd likely have dismissed it as, I don't know, hallucinations. But now, I'm not sure what to think. I don't suppose you have a history of this sort of thing, do you? No, I don't. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've never seen anything like that in yes, my life. Yes, I imagined as much. Barrett expressed something similar in his own unique way. I'm no scientist. I leave that to the likes of Barrett and young Noel there. But I think we can all agree there's something unusual going on here. Yep. Frankly? This is the most exciting thing that's happened in years. All right. Thank Bye. you. Okay. So, the next thing that I want to do is Oh. I guess go in here. Oh. We have basement. Oh, here are all the tools that he was talking about. So this is cooking station, pharmaceutical lab, uh, weapon workbench. I guess we have more weapons here. Mm, spacesuit workbench, nice. Industrial workbench, some tools there. Even here we have some more space. Ah, oh, another bedroom. Today it's for Darla. This looks like a little bit more of a younger person. Another restroom. Some old things just storage here. Wow. Look at this. I mean you can unlock it, maybe steal this? <laughs> I'm not gonna do that right now, but yeah, <laughs> looks looks great as an armor. Uh, the well, oh, so here we have some activities we can do, I guess. Um, so yeah, activities: complete a research project, craft or modify an item, check out the constellation mission board, see your parents at Pioneer Tower, and investigate brownouts in the well. So we can go down there and do some of that. First, I think I want to check out the Constellation mission board, I guess. So let's let's go and see it. Okay. Locate boiled seas in Alpha Turner. 
We are looking for an experienced explorer to locate a planet with boiled seas in the Alpha Turner system. This may require surveying multiple planets uh, within the system. Payment will be automatically credited to your account once a planet has been located. Okay. 9,500 credits. Wow, that's that's quite the money. Uh, locate Coraline landmass in Indum. Locate extension event at in Altair. And survey Altair 3rd 3A in Altair, I think. Okay, so at the moment I won't accept any mission. I just wanted to see like all of that stuff. And now we can... Uh, we can try and do one of these. But I'm gonna set the see your parents at Pioneer Tower first. So let's go out and see where this leads us. Okay, oh, climate's changing. information touch here to begin oh okay welcome to New Atlantis welcome to the city of New Atlantis capital of the United Colonies and for many and the settled systems as a whole uh, you stand now in the most technologically advanced city in the human race has ever conceived and constructed New Atlantis was founded in the years uh, in the year 2160 a mere four years after we first arrived in the Alpha Centauri star system. If you're a resident, then you're already familiar with your fantastic home, and if you're a visitor, you are an honored guest of the United Colonies and will be treated as such. Our car shoes and professional security personnel can be found all over the city, and it's their job to ensure your time in New Atlantis is joyful, lawful, and productive. So as you stroll the streets, or take the NAT train to the city's different districts, uh, know that you are in the embrace of the United Colonies and couldn't be in better hands. Okay. Uh, our shared history. We are the children of Earth. The United Colonies as an entity was first established in the year uh, 2159 on the planet Earth as a means of unifying the human race as we spread amongst the stars. Our goal was the peaceful exploration and colonization of space, working in harmony with anyone who wished to sail forth across the blanks, the blackest sea, the New Horizons. Two New Horizons, sorry. In 2161, we issued the Centaurus Proclamation, uh, which formalized the colonization of distant worlds for anyone who wished to do so. Unfortunately, not everyone shared in our dream. And when wars erupted across the settled systems, the United Colonies stood steadfast protecting humans and the right to fairly colonize. And then, when our beloved home world was rendered un uninhabitable in the year 2203, huh, the United Colonies knew it had a sacred responsibility as we were to be keepers of Earth, its artifacts, its ideals, its cultures, it's very people. So while you stand now on the planet Jemison in the city of New Atlantis in the Alpha Centauri star system, know that for all intents and purposes you are still very much an Earth. And Earth takes care of its own. I wonder if this is actually connected to Fallout. Like that would be quite interesting. I, sh I would I would have to check the timeline on Fallout because when I played Fallout 4, I think you you awake on 2270 something after the the you know the f the <laughs> the atomic um, apocalypse. That's that's interesting. I would have to check on that. So uh, corporate directory. 
Uh, here in New Atlantis, a citizen or visitor can find just about any service they may need, from freshly brewed coffee to complete body reconstruction. Oh, Jesus Christ, we have it all. <laughs> the following is a, li uh, is a list of corporations and businesses uh, that have found a home in New Atlantis. The district location is indicated in parentheses. So we have Terra Brew Coffee, uh, Jemson Mercantile, The Viewport Tavern, Centurion Arsenal, Reliant Medical, uh, Enhance, Chunks, CJ's, EIT Clothier, Outland, Jake's, and Apex Electronics on the wall. Okay. Good to know. Uh, other buildings and services. Here in New Atlantis, you'll find a wide variety of buildings that provide various functions and services. They include Galbank, as an SSNN, the Trade Autori uh, Authority, Sanctum Universum Church, House of Enlightenment, Free Star Collective Embassy, House Varun Embassy, Infinity LTD Corporate Headquarters, Medbay, and UC Surplus. Okay. Uh, the Mast. It is impossible to visit New Atlantis and not notice the imposing structure that is Mast. Much more than a building, Mast also serves as the very foundation of the United Colonies. There, the military, administrative, and scientific triumvirate uh, works tirelessly to ensure continuing space and prosperity, no peace and prosperity for everyone under the UC's protection. And the citizenship: the foundation of any society is its people, and there is no stronger person than a United Colonies citizen. As a citizen, you will carry a status unequaled uh, in the settled systems and will be recognized as the truly special individual you are. Whether you make your home in New Atlantis, Sidonia, or any other officially recognized settlement, citizenship is the truest batch of loyalty and dedication to the United Colonies you can possess. As a United Colony citizen, you will be afforded the following privileges. An exclusive and personalized acknowledgement of your new status, okay. A welcome letter signed by none other than President Alexandra Abello herself, sure. Discounts at all major United Colonies business establishments, that one's good. Exclusive access to home ownership in New Atlantis, okay, that's also, I think, good, I don't know. A one-time credit disbursement, I don't know what that is, and more. <laughs> How does one become a citizen? It's easy, simply serve the United Colonies in any official capacity, and once you've met the allotted requirements, citizenship, citizenship will be granted. Currently, the fastest and simplest way to achieve citizenship is to complete a tour of duty in the Vanguard, the United Colony's very own volunteer fleet. So if, you, if you've got uh, your own ship and the moxie to put yourself in harm's way <laughs> for the good of the UZ, speak with Commander John Tuala in Mast and get signed up today. Note that as of this time, the United Colonies offers citizenship to anyone within the settled systems, regardless of current address or faction affiliation. If you want uh, the United Colonies, the United Colonies wants you. Okay, so if I'm member of um, of uh, oh, it's going late. <laughs> of Constellation, I still can be a citizen of this place. Right, got it. But, well, that took a little bit more time than I expected, so I guess that's going to be it for today's Sergeant episode, guys. I really hope you are enjoying exploring guard. this place with me, Contact and if you are, please consider leaving a like and maybe subscribing, and I'll see you in the next episode. So yeah, I didn't hear, I didn't hear what she was talking about, but a new activity just uh, dropped. But yeah, see ya! <laughs> <laughs>